Hi, today I'm going to show you how to roll a sphere along a spline with Expresso. Make sure the sphere is in a null. Add an align to spline tag to null. Check tangential and put the spline in spline path. In the spline properties, switch to uniform. Add an Expresso tag to null. Drag the sphere into the Expresso interface. Add object as output. Create the bounding box node and switch to local. This node allows you to calculate the size of an object on three axes, X, Y, and Z. If you put a result node as output, you can see three values. Connect the box size output to the vector 2 rails node. This node allows you to separate the three values. Here Y is 70 centimeters. We can find this value here if the sphere is selected. The sphere is 70 centimeters high, so its diameter is 70 centimeters. We want to know the perimeter of the sphere, we can find it with the formula 2 pi r, which allows us to find the perimeter of a circle. Create a formula node to write the formula. In the formula, $1 represents the input, value 1. At the output of the formula node, we have the perimeter of the sphere. Now, we need the length of the spline. Drag the spline into the Expresso and add object as output. Using the spline node, we can know its length with the length output. Now that we have the perimeter of the sphere and the length of the spline, we can know the number of rotations that the sphere must make to make one turn. Simply divide the length of the spline by the perimeter of the sphere. With a formula node, we use the formula $1 divided by $2. We then obtain the number of rotations. Now, we will use the align to spline slider to control the rotation of the sphere. Drag the align to spline tag into the Expresso and set the position output. Then, we will use the range mapper node to make a cross product. When the align to spline value goes from 0 to 100%, the output value will go from 0 to the number of rotations of the sphere for one turn. In this example, 8.772. We connect the output of the formula to the output upper input of the range mapper. Now, we have to convert the turns into degrees. We use a range mapper node, when the input value goes from 0 to 1, the output value will go from 0 to 360 degrees. Finally, drag the sphere into the Expresso and set the rotation axis P as input. Now, the sphere rolls perfectly along the spline. You can change the size of the sphere, the rotation will adapt. Thanks for watching.